<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Starting off up close and personal today because we're going to be taking a look at the Aries 2 Mouth to Lung RTA! <laughs> Designed by P. Basardo and the Vapen Greek, manufactured by Zyaz. Oh, and again. On the inside, you get a nice, uh, terrible picture of Phil and Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri just looked like a, a villager that's going to give you a side quest. And on the inside, obviously, my tank is not in here. My tank is right here for uh, cleaning purposes. But as it says, we're going to find more under the tray. There is a very large and thorough instruction manual on here. In addition to this instruction manual, Phil Basardo himself has put together a series of videos if you want to do a real deep dive on the Aries too. I'll have those linked down below. Inokin vape band, if you use vape bands. Tools and things and extra screws and the such as. You get some canthal wire, you get some cotton. We're gonna be using one of their pre-built coils today. As well as a spare smoky glass, some spare O-rings, another drip tip. Loads of extras, Lo loads of extras and spare parts. Dick butt. So here's the deck of the Ares 2. Let's get this really dirty alien out of here. Dirty alien. Phillips head screws are gonna hold your leads in place. Boop. So yeah, real easy, two post deck. You got some nice wick catch cups over here behind the threading of the of the chimney. And if you get your flathead screwdriver in here, you can also adjust the airflow from right here. Open it up, close it off. I like leaving it full open because I like a little bit more open of a mouth to lung. But this, in combination with the exterior airflow, you can get very, very tight mouth to lung if that's what you're into. So let's grab Grab a coil out of here and let's just install it. Nowhere on the Inokin website does it specify how big the airflow holes are on the outside. And since I'm a bad vapor viewer, I don't have calipers. But these are all of your airflow holes. I'm assuming that's maybe three millimeter. So you figure three millimeter, two and a half, two, one and a half, one. That's what makes sense to me. You can rock the airflow full open like this for a heavy air quotes here, restricted lung. It's a real real restricted lung. Or you have this hole over here. So you can start off with the little one millimeter airflow hole. You pair this up, close this airflow down. That's some tight airflow. And you can adjust it. It clicks in every spot. There's the next one. There's the two, two and a half. Finally to the three. Three millimeter airflow hole, this fully open. That's how I like my mouth to lung. Once you open up those screws, this deck is really simple. It's just a matter of kind of just placing your coil in here. Keep it centered. Tighten this lead down. Tighten this lead down. Yeah. Well, that's not centered. Yeah, there you go. So much better. Now it's centered. Clip those leads. Flush. Clip. Get this wicked up. You can use the included wick. I'm using Cotton Bacon Prime today. Never thinned out my wicks on an Aries. Not about to start now. Pop your wicks down. Pop. Pop. Yeah, I mean, basically flawless. I didn't glow these because they're spaced coils, so they're gonna glow perfectly evenly. No, no need to dry fire them. I mean, you definitely can if you want to. I just never do with spaced coils. So I'm gonna transfer this from Dick Butt <laughs> Bearded Viking Customs. I think we're gonna run this on the Raksasa mob. There's gonna be a little bit of overhang because this is the 24 millimeter version, but they do make a 22 millimeter version of this tank as well. Apply whatever liquid you desire on here. One ohm coil. No need to go above, I mean, maybe 14 watts, maybe maybe 13, maybe 12 watts. Vapors, you know, keep your wicks nice and wet. And you can just take the rest of your tank, screw this together. And then to fill it up, you're going to see this little arrow right here. You slide this over. The drip tip actually acts as a lock on it as well. So when the drip tip is on, you can't press this. You can't open it. Drip tip comes out, then boosh, there it is. Fill. Basardo. We're good. Close this. Drip tip goes back. I actually like this super dorky swoopy drip tip. It's uh, it's honestly really comfortable in the mouth. So yeah, that's all. Aries 2 mouth to lung RTA. Not overly complicated as it shouldn't be. Let's get back out to normal view and let's vape the damn thing.
So there it is on top of my Roxasa mod. Like I said, there's a little bit of overhang here because this is the 24 millimeter version. They do do a 22 millimeter version and all you gain in the 22 millimeter version is a lower juice capacity. Now, if you're a fan of mouth to lung RTAs, like I'm a fan of mouth to lung RTAs, chances are this is probably already on your radar. You've probably already watched a bunch of reviews for it. You, pro you might even actually own one already. So what can I possibly add to the conversation. Well, I'm here to tell you today that the flavor on this sucks. No, I'm just kidding. The flavor on this is incredible. No, I'm just kidding. The flavor on this is pretty good, and that's the truth. See, the chimney on the inside of the Aries 2 is that big sort of rounded bell shape. And in my experience with RTAs and mouth-to-lung RTAs, I find you get much better flavor when you have hard angles on your chimney, which is why the K-Fun Light Plus had hard angles on its chimney. Even the new K-Fun Light 2019 has harder angles on its chimney. Even that Reload Vapor Mouth to Lung RTA has harder angles on the chimney. Harder angles, in my opinion, just deliver a little bit better of a flavor. In fact, where's Dimitri? Quick little side quest. So shortly before Asmodis released that Anani RTA, their mouth to lung RTA, they hit me up on WhatsApp and said, hey Grim, can you help us with this RTA? The flavor sucks and we don't know how to fix it. So I gave them a few pointers, figured this might be a cool co-branded thing. I said, well, we're gonna need to do this. We're gonna need to change the airflow and that bell on the inside needs to have harder angles on it. After a few back and forths, they eventually just said, no, that's gonna, take too much time, cost too much money, we're just gonna release it as it is. But I do believe if they had added harder angles to the inside of their chimney, it would have delivered much better flavor. Like I said, as it stands, the flavor on the Aries 2 is pretty good. This is Deep Cut Psycho Cruller in here. It's a juice I have vaped a lot of, and it tastes like Deep Cut Psycho Cruller. It's tasty, okay? It's it's pretty tasty. Airflow's real nice, nice and smooth. I like all the options you can choose from, from the airflow, like I showed you. I leave mine in the three millimeter hole, or what I'm assuming is a three millimeter hole, and I leave that airflow underneath the coil fully open. Like I said, you can tighten this down and go everywhere in between to find like your perfect draw. Now, if we open up all of these airflow holes and put it into restricted lung mode, then you can kind of have a restricted lung or never mind you can't it's just not a restricted lung it's way too tight no matter what you do on the outside airflow it still gets funneled through and channeled through the little airflow adjustment underneath your coils so you can kind of adjust it in mouth to lung on the outside but putting it into restricted lung kind of does nothing it just still feels like a mouth to lung Nope, not, not a good restricted lung. They shouldn't have put that on there. This should just be a straight mouth to lung tank. Mm. Mm. Really, there's not much I can fault the Aries 2 on. It's designed well, it's built well, easy to build, easy to wick. It's got a locking fill port on the top, lots of airflow adjustment options, really nice mouth to lung vape. Unnecessary vape budget hands, as you can find this around the internet, anywhere from like 35 to 40 bucks, maybe 40 bucks on the high end. Now, if we were gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game, where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape anymore, is the Aries 2 mouth to lung. RTA, something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away. Look, here's the thing. Yeah, probably. I definitely like it more than a lot of other mouth to lung RTAs that have come out recently. I definitely like it more than that Cogrita RTA that Matt did. Sorry, Matt. Easy to use top to bottom and delivers what I consider to be a very enjoyable mouth to lung experience. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still at least 95% less harmful than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, let's keep on vaping. What, what the fuck? The, the cop is stuck.